Have you ever bought something luxurious and then wondered why did you do that? Have you ever earned money but didn't feel any joy coming from it? This is a Pavlov's dog decoy, a hack implanted deep into our brain. First discovered by Ivan Pavlov in his St. Petersburg laboratory, it gave him a Nobel Prize in 1904. In this video, we will see how the modern-day Pavlovs exploit the same concept to hack our brains on an industrial scale and force us in two main mistakes – buying luxury and chasing money. At Columbia University in New York, I researched human behavioral patterns and later continued this work in China as a Forbes columnist. If you would ask me what is the most important discovery or experiment ever done in this field, I would give you just one name – Pavlov Dog. Pavlov revealed the most fundamental rules or laws of how our brain works. And uh, his discovery is pretty much everywhere around us. Uh, for example, it has become a foundation of the modern AI. So we can uh, say that Pavlov is a grandfather of the artificial intelligence. However, as often happens with great discoveries, they are sometimes can be used in evil ways. And Pavlov dog is not an exception. Armies and armies of corporate hustlers use Pavlov dog to hack our brains. Any dog owner knows that when a dog sees or expects food, it gets very excited, which shows in saliva secretion or drooling. Brain releases dopamine and serotonin, and dogs experience pleasure. The sight of food makes dog happy. Here's a simplistic version of the dog's brain. You can see neurons connected to each other. When food appears, neurons get activated and send signal to other neurons uh, down the chain until it reaches a neuron responsible for saliva secretion and pleasure. And we have a happy dog. By the way, in humans, this process is almost identical, hence the English word mouse watering. And here's where the genius of Pavlov came up. In his uh, famous laboratory in uh, St. Petersburg, he observed that if you bring food and show it to dog and simultaneously, it's a very important word, simultaneously ring a bell, then an additional parallel link will be formed. Here you see at the bottom, it has connected the bell and the neurons responsible for pleasure and salivation. The more Pavlov was re uh, repeating uh, this process, the stronger the neural link became. And then came the discovery. Pavlov didn't give food, I repeat, he didn't give food. But he did ring the bell. And the dog salivated. The dog became happy. Food was not longer needed. The bell alone made the dog happy. And all thanks to this shortcut, the bypass, the decoy neural link, the brain was hacked. Human brain, our brain, has exactly the same decoy. And it is being hacked on a truly extraordinary scale. Humans are social animals. Since the dawn of humankind, humans strived for group acceptance, because those who didn't, did not survive. You simply could not survive without a group uh, in the past. Status was usually confirmed by some formal symbol like a crown or a medal. That symbol was impossible or very difficult to imitate, to fake. And then everything changed. Newspapers, radio, billboards, TV, social media. Media has taken over the world. Companies realize that if you show a famous person, well, usually some sportsman or movie star, on the same screen with your brand, a peculiar thing will form. A so familiar decoy link. Just like a dog was happy with a bell, humans are now happy with brand. Real status is not needed anymore. Just show a brand. If you speak to marketing people, they will call it brand recognition. There is a problem with this approach, though. We will use a luxury car as an example. So anybody who owned a luxury car can confirm that it changes absolutely nothing in your status or the way how group accepts you. Most of the time you demonstrate your status in traffic jams to nameless people whom you don't know and whom you will never see again. I myself uh, fell into this trap back when I was in Canada. I bought this uh, beauty. 
and uh, then spent the next two years driving on the snowy streets of Toronto, wondering, what did I do it for? Why did I buy it? This is why. The Pavlov's dog decoy implanted into brain, um, into my brain, forced me to buy it. Luxury companies spend extraordinary budgets, budgets to train that decoy link. For example, uh, LVMH, which is Louis Vuitton, just last year spent 10 billion on marketing. If we add selling expense to this, which serves the same purpose, that number will exceed 31 billion dollars. For comparison, the entire NASA's budget is just 25 billion dollars. Brands turn us into Pavlov dogs. They implant the decoy link deep into our brain like a fishing hook, and most of the time we are not even aware of it. It's amazing. But wait, what we have just seen is nothing comparing to the main decoy. What do we want in life? That's right, we want food, safety, love, group acceptance or status, and sometimes meaning. This is a classic Maslow pyramid. And how do we climb this pyramid? That's right, we work. And as we work, we climb higher. As we gradually achieve our goals, our brain releases dopamine and serotonin hormones, making us happy. However, while we climb, an interesting thing happens. As we work, we receive something called money. Initially, money was designed as a mean of exchange so we could convert our labor into goods to cover our needs. As a result, these two processes, uh, climbing the pyramid and receiving the money, coincided. They are parallel. We work and we climb and we receive money. The money link gets bolder and bolder, stronger and stronger. And soon our brain trains itself to receive pleasure not by fulfilling our needs, but by receiving more money. And then, somehow, we stop climbing altogether. And now, just like a dog chasing the bell, we're chasing the money. The money decoy leads us to terribly wrong decisions. For example, we pick occupations not because we like them, but because they're paid best. We spend our precious lifetime on earning extra dollar or yuan or whatever currency we live in, not because we need them, but because we can. We measure everything around us in money. In other words, we abandon the pyramid of our goals. But what do we do with all this money? Maybe we spend it on some noble cause. This is a self-storage facility. There are 51,206 of them in the US alone. This is where we put things we bought but do not need. If you put them together, that will be more than 28,000 football fields. This is more than three Manhattans, and Manhattan is huge. Another example, these are marinas. Do you see anything strange? Yes, they are always full. If you observe them for some time, you will see that nobody actually uses the yachts. People just buy them and park them. Another example, houses. People buy enormous houses with more space than can be reasonably needed. So many rooms left empty, such an enormous waste. Not needed stuff, not used yachts, empty houses. This is what we get for abandoning our pyramids, our true needs, our dreams. We don't climb our pyramid any longer. Instead, we spend money we chase for a wrong reason on the things we do not need. As a Forbes columnist, I have observed daily lives of uh, people who had more money than could be imagined. I have seen them behaving in their normal environment where there is no external pressure, where they are um, among other billionaires and where they can be, uh, well, themselves. Do you know what they do? They talk about money and nothing else but the money. Well, of course, there are people like Elon Musk who are purpose driven and for whom money is just a byproduct or a, a tool to get there. But uh, Elon Musk, like people, they're a minority. The majority of uh, billionaires, the only thing they are interested in is money. But does the money make them happy? Well, not more than a ringing bell satiates a dog. Money is just another form of a Pavlov bell.
If you stayed here with us until this point, click the like button. If you think we missed something important or got something wrong, don't forget to leave a comment. You can also buy my new book, uh, Scripture, The Dragon Well. The link will be in the description. See you on the other side.